the video is how to have motivation. I get asked this questions and a question a lot. How do you stop? I mean, how do you continue on? How do you do the, the same thing over and over and over again? What keeps you motivated? And and my answer may surprise you. And the reason why it may surprise you because of this, and, and I want you to hear what I'm about to say. There is no magical thing that's going to help you make it. I know you may want to hear that. There is no mountain you can go to, no place you can go to, no guru that you can go to and talk to and come back with this magic thing. And then you say, now I have it. Nothing like that. Nothing like that is going to make you make it. The only thing that you can do every day is to get up. Get up and play the mental mind game daily because that's what it is. One thing that human beings have that is a great thing for them, but you may not think it's a great thing, is the ability to forget. You can be motivated as crap today and go to bed, wake up, and have none of that power the next day. So how do you get it? You get it. You do it anyway. You do it if you have the flu. You do it if it's 20 degrees below zero outside. You do it if someone just passed away. You do it even if you're hurting all over. You do it anyway. That's it. Some of you right now are waiting around to find that magical thing. And you wonder why it hasn't showed up yet. I had somebody tell me one time that things were going to be great for them. Jesus was coming to bring it to them. And this is no uh, put down of anyone, anyone's religion. But my response to that was, how do you know that Jesus didn't already give it to you? And the only problem that you're having is that you're not using it. Think about it. Think about somebody you know that's highly motivated, right? Do you think they have bad times in their life? Do you think they grow through sickness? Do you think anyone has ever died in their family? You keep doing it anyway. I had a neighbor whose husband was dying for probably about six months, and she knew he was going to die. So she built some fence around so he can be protected. He wasn't supposed to be smoking cigarettes, but he smoked them anyway. And when he passed away, I didn't even know he was passed away because I could not tell in her routine that anything that changed. She was still mowing the yard. She was still saying hello in the morning time. And then one day, because I hadn't seen him in a while, I asked, how is your husband doing? And she said, you know what? He's been He's been passed. He's passed away for a few weeks ago. I'm like, really? I would have never guessed. And she said, yeah. Never told us. Never wanted us to give him sympathy. Never came out. Never seen a cry. Never seen any of these things. But then all of a sudden, I just put two and two together and asked the question. She didn't miss a beat. So my thing to you is, would you miss a beat? If there is something going on in your life, would you miss a beat? Right? So that's, that's, that's the thing. So the, 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 the moral of this video is this. The story is, is that you got to do it. I don't care how you're feeling. You got to do it. If you want to lose 20 pounds, work out, lose 30. But you got to do it every day. You got to show up every day. There isn't like one day you can show up and all of a sudden it's fixed. See, a lot of you are looking for easy fixes. You're not going to get that. Because I promise you, if you get an easy fix, it's going to hurt you more than it's going to help you. So the question is, what are you going to do? How are you going to make yourself better? And, and the answer is easy. You got to show up. So with that said, good people, take care. Hopefully everything is going great in your life. And that's all I have to say. So until next time, signing off.